Iroquois tribe, and he's a medicine man. He sits on the council, actually, up in Canada, and uh, he's pretty high up, muckety muck, and she's a medicine woman, and they, they've called us over the years from time to time to tell us certain things that are going on in our house. They just seem to know shit. And uh, almost a few years ago, it said, you know, there's bad shit going on behind your barn. And we said, yeah, we know that. We've known it for years. The kids used to, they had a sleepover once. They came running out of the little back pasture saying, we see eyes everywhere. And Nance, you know, swears there's people back there. And I used to hear things at night, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, so they came down, walked the land back there and and uh, said there was, basically said there was, we were very sad, and we, we got really sad, too. In fact, it was tears and all kinds. It just felt really tragic. But anyway, apparently there was a slaughter about 300 years ago, and there was a lot of uh, English, uh, I guess it was during the Revolutionary War, or even before that. There were English soldiers, there were trappers, French, French-Canadian trappers, and a lot of Native peoples, and a lot of people killed, women and children, about 300 people. So, and they were, apparently there was a bunch of them stuck back there. They couldn't, they couldn't go home for some damn reason. So, so uh, we had to do this ceremony. And uh, so that's, we spent a couple of days doing this. We, you know, you cook a meal and you invite them in, eat with them, and then you kind of help send them off and so on and so forth. So, so the song kind of got inspired by doing all that and realizing that, uh, you know, maybe you might think you own something, but <laughs> you don't really. Possessive 